Well, finally tonight, a few minutes before the Holy Father's weekly talk to pilgrims, he blessed a statue in St. Peter's Square. The statue highlights the plight of the homeless, and it was done by Canadian artist Timothy Schmalz in conjunction with the Vincentian Order's 13 Houses campaign. The initiative will provide material and spiritual help to the homeless around the world. And that artist, Timothy Schmaltz, joins us now from Rome. Timothy, great to see you again. Uh, can you tell us more about this new sculpture and how and why you became involved with the 13 Houses campaign? The sculpture is part of a project I've been working on for a long time, interpreting, visually translating the scriptures. This inspiration came from Isaiah 58, where... Uh, the idea, which is so profound, is it not our fast to clothe the naked? When I heard that, I thought that must be a sculpture. I have to, I have to bring this idea out to the world. So I created a sculpture which really visually just basically suggests that it is our spiritual duty to help the marginalized in the world. So I have a homeless person, a naked person, being covered by a blanket by a dove, the symbol of the Holy Spirit. And what I love about the piece is it is shocking, and, and it's just like, when you see it, it's, it, it, it's, it's phenomenal because you have a homeless person being covered by the Holy Spirit, and you have it right in front of you, three-dimensional. And so this, this is a, a phenomenal uh, design that is going to be used by the DePaul Society to promote their organization. Oh, that is incredible. Uh, speaking specifically about the sculpture, I'm curious, how long did it take uh, to complete and where exactly will it be placed? The sculpture took a year to create, and it, and it follows um, several different uh, epic projects. Uh, I just recently created a sculpture on the theme of human trafficking that borrowed the uh, text from Isaiah 58, uh, Let the Oppressed Go Free. And the sculpture really was a piece that I took my time working on. It's very, very simple. It's not like some of my complex pieces with 100 figures in. Um, but it did take me a year to, to create it. What I hope to do is create many different casts for the DePaul Society so they can place it in different areas around the world. The first one here, blessed in the Vatican, will be placed in Rome. Incredible. And what are some of the other projects um, that you, you'll be working on in the future? Uh, I am working on so many projects, it's just absolutely unbelievable. Um, one of the, the projects I just concluded was uh, sculpting the complete Divine Comedy, Dante's Divine Comedy, which walks you through hell, purgatory, and paradise. It's the first time in 700 years that every single chapter of the Divine Comedy has been sculpted. And that's a hundred different sculptures. That is right now being installed at St. Michael's College, University of Toronto. Hopefully in spring we'll have the dedication. It's a big project. But I'm actually right now exploring and sculpting Laudato C, Laudio C, uh, Pope Francis's encyclical about the environment. And I have the principal sculpture of St. Francis embracing the world. And from this is going to go visual interpretations of his encyclical. And that is, that is fascinating for me because I have to really study and understand the text. I have to understand the, the writings to actually create sculptures, almost translate them into, into visuals so people, in a sense, can read with their eyes. My human trafficking sculpture, Let the Oppressed Go Free, which highlights St. Bikita, the patron saint of human trafficking, is right now on its way to Texas, where it's going to be showcased right on the Mexican-American uh, border, and it's going to do a cross-American tour and finally end up installed at Catholic University of America. And this project, I kid you not, it was my obsession for more than a year to give visibility to these people, these poor souls that are forgotten, invisible, and buried. And so I have a lot going on right now, but today... Uh, having Pope Francis bless my new sculpture that celebrates 
the Wednesday before the World Day of the Poor, the idea that it's our spiritual duty to help the poor, an awesome day. Absolutely. And Timothy, I have to say, I'm always so amazed uh, by all of your pieces. They are incredible, really incredible. Uh, thank you for speaking to us about all of this. We appreciate it. Great to have you on.